you as a bank? How can you allow a man to use you as a bank? This is your first time here then. I really appreciate it. If you've been here before, then welcome back. I appreciate all my gang that's come back and keeps coming back to my channel. Appreciate y'all, you are stars, you're superstars, I love you. Mwah. Okay, so this is just gonna be a really short video. It's just a message for Auntie, Auntie Wendy from Auntie Lani. So guys, before I get into the video, please give this video a big thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and all that good stuff. Okay, cool. So, Auntie Wendy, girl. Girl, listen. <laughs> you like you you bugging auntie wendy this quality of life that you're putting yourself through is absolute bullshit it's not a necessity that your man has to cheat on you has to have a side chick on you that's bullshit you need to put yourself first and you need to rate yourself you need to love yourself you clearly don't love yourself you don't respect yourself you don't think highly of yourself how can you allow a man to use you as a bank how can you allow a man to use you as a bank? Is he your child? Did you give birth to him? No, you did not, sister. You didn't give birth to this man. You go, you work, you grind, you make all these peas, and then he takes all the peas and he spends it on his side chick. That is embarrassing, Auntie Wendy. You need to stop it. You need to allow it. It's embarrassing. Can I just also say, yeah, that's not even the worst part that he uses all his money on his side chick. The worst of the worst part of everything that he does is that he, um, he doesn't love Auntie Wendy. He loves the side chick, Sharina or whatever her name is. That's who he loves. He doesn't love her. He doesn't love our dear Auntie Wendy. He loves Sharina. He loves, he loves Sharina. He is using you as a bank to fund the, his lifestyle with his side chick, who actually is the wife. You're the side chick, Auntie Wendy. You are the side chick, because you are the side. You are the one that he sleeps with, just to keep the relationship there. You're his 20%, she's his 80%. He loves her, he's been with her for 10 years, but he needs you, you're the 20%. You give him stability, maybe, and what you give him most of all is money. You are his bank balance. And then he's got a family with you, of course, because you've got a son together. But he don't love you. He don't love you. He don't love you. Who told you he loved you? You think this is love? Friend that he lives with, that he bought, initially he bought her a condo, and then he bought her a, um, a house. And I remember like, they were like, oh, you know, we, we see them together, some neighbor. Like he has a whole lot of their life with this woman. And for the most part, for the for the majority of these 10 years, she's been childless. He hasn't stayed with her, made it work because he he has two families. She's only had a kid now. So he actually just loved her. He fell out he fell out with Charlemagne the gods because he thought Charlemagne was trying to hook Sh Sharina up with his, um his brethren, his friends. That, that's why they fell out. Because he's so he's so in love with her. He's a sucker for her. Imagine your dude is beating up another dude because he is he is so in love with um, This woman he can't imagine another man putting his hands on her like in a romantic sense So he has to go and beat up his friend because he thinks oh my god my friend's violating my friend's trying to hook up my woman with another person That is a violation auntie Wendy auntie Wendy. This is embarrassing. It's a joke. You need to absolutely wake up you need to slap yourself you 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 cannot continue this behavior you ca you cannot you cannot i'm actually really worried for auntie wendy i'm worried that auntie wendy is if, like charlemagne said if she doesn't wake up she needs to wake up before she doesn't wake up and i'm worried you know she's she's doing the drugs and she's going to the hospital and it's like like if you know eventually like you know, mixing pills and alcohol leads to death. It only leads to one thing. Is that what you want for yourself, Auntie Wendy? You were so successful. You are goals. Your life is goals. You were so successful. That's something to be proud of. And you're letting this man um, make you like a shell of who you are, a shell of 
what you represent as a woman, a role model. You know, fair enough, some people like it's your karma for chatting about celebrities. But then, mm, I don't really know because that was her job, it's entertaining, it's funny to, to, to gossip and stuff. I don't think any woman deserves what Wendy's getting in any way, shape or form. And I saw, after Wendy, after Wendy um, found out about the baby and after Sharina gave birth, I saw a clip of the paparazzi following Wendy. Wendy's coming out of the hospital and she's like flaunting her ring. She's like, mmm. And I thought to myself, are you high on drugs? There's nothing to flaunt, sister. There's nothing to flaunt, auntie. You should be embarrassed. You should be ashamed. You're a dickhead. When uh, you are in a domestic, you are in a domestic, you are in a domestically abusive relationship, and I get it. But at the same time, bitch. Um, sorry. At the same time. I've been there. I've been in a relationship which was um, somewhat mentally abusive. I had like literally didn't love myself at all, and he like I just looked at him and he was literally like, "Oh my god!" Like everything, and it took me almost four to five years to come out of it and to find my happiness. And I can imagine. And Im I was only with this boy for a year. Auntie Wendy's been with her husband for what twenty years, so she is li she's literally like wow, like she's brainwashed to the fullest, like brainwashed. So all we can do is pray for Wendy, Auntie Wendy. That the problem is, it's probably going to take her a lifetime to, to to forgive or get over it. She probably won't get over it. She's basically going to die with resentment in her heart. Um, and that's a shame. But Auntie, let, let me give you a little suggestion. You're old now, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna, you know. I'm gonna be honest. You're not that cute anymore. Um, you, you know, you're shaped like a pea. Your tits are massive, and then you just, you're just straight. Um, you're not that. You mean you're alright. You sometimes you look pretty, but you, you're not like stunning, is what I'm saying. Um, uh, but you've got a good personality, and sometimes you don't scrub. Sometimes you scrub up alright. What my suggestion to you is to leave. My suggestion is to leave. Um, your man, with his trash life, he will eventually burn out of all the money. Would he even win any money because there was infidelity? And then after you do all that, Auntie Wendy, you need to find yourself some hot toy boys. Hat. Um, and I feel like you should just have fun. Have a boyfriend for a year, have a boyfriend for six months. Do some models. I'm sure they want to date you for the clout. Yes, they're using you, but it'll be on your terms and you won't be being manipulated. You'll be in control. That's what you should do. And then you can have good sex, you'll have good company. And then maybe one of the boys will even, you know, form a very lovely, loving attachment, like Samantha and the model guy in Sex and the City, just because of the fact that you helped them when they were down and because they're nobodies and they'll be really grateful, whatever. That's what you need. Just some guys to pleasure yourself, pleasure yourself with. That's what you need. Go to your grave like that, Auntie Wendy. You know, love yourself, get your self-worth back, get your happiness back, and get, most importantly, get your mental health back. Anyway, guys, I've been rambling on, rambling on, and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope Auntie Wendy was listening. I doubt it, but, you know, you never know. Yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching this video, and um, I'll catch you in my next one. I'm going to have a really little one, one for my vlog when I go to Turkey with my sister and my best friend, Sarah. It's going to be lit, so y'all better watch. When I say it's going to be lit, it's going to be lit. So... Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and all that good shit. And if you enjoyed this video, just write some comments underneath about what you think of it and what you would like to see me do more of. Okay, guys. Bye. And, ch and um, yeah, check me out in my next video. That's when we'll meet again. And we can get the discussion popping. Bye, 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 bye.